Grandy Mahara is here, so obviously we're only thinking about robots today. So we're going to provide our list of our favorite giant robots, fictional, fictional giant robots in, uh, in no general order because it's just too hard to pick one. Uh, my first robot that I would like to talk about is Unit 2 from Evangelion, Neon Genesis Evangelion to be precise, the original series that I grew up with. And I chose Unit 2, which is Asuka's, over uh, Unit 0 and Unit 1, which are the prototype and the test, duh. Unit 2 is the first one specifically designed to fight angels. It's piloted by Asuka. Asuka's my favorite. Shinji's an idiot. Go. Oh, you're so harsh. On <laughs> I don't like Actually, Shinji is emo. He is an idiot. You're right. Um, you <laughs> idiot! She my says choice. All the time. Go ahead. <laughs> Get in the robot. Um, my choice is classic old school giant robot. Giant robot. <laughs> Controlled by Johnny Sacco. He's got the wristwatch. Giant robot, attack. And so giant robot. And the <laughs> that I have always wanted a giant robot. Always. Controlled by, controlled by a wristwatch that I give a voice command. I'm working on it. I feel like you could build a prototype at least. I, I, I might. I might kickstart that. What's the that? biggest robot you've ever built? A uh, 650 pound um, walking robot. Um, actually, no. Uh, for Junkyard Wars, we took a, an excavator, and it was 11 feet tall, and we made it into an R2-D2 that could breathe fire, uh, fire projectiles, and had a dexterous arm that could lift giant steel plates. What? Nice. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to tell me more about this a little bit. His life is better than yours. It, it really is, and, and all of ours combined. Okay, so my, my first giant robot uh, is in the same vein and actually takes a lot from giant robot. It's Big O of the manga and the anime. Uh, just, uh, just like giant robot, there's a little circle whenever he calls his Megadeus Big O. It says, cast in the name of God, ye not guilty. It like judges him worthy of piloting this giant uh, Megadeus robot. And I think what sets Big O apart from all other like Gundam style big mech robots is uh, the cool weapons. He's got this giant piston arm thing, which basically he just presses his fist up against whatever robot or building he's fighting, and a giant piston comes out the elbow and rockets back through and blasts a huge hole in the robot. And like through all 26 episodes, it doesn't get old. It's just the best. You need to have a big super weapon. Yes. But you can only use it when it's your most dire situation. You have to fight to the last 10%. Yeah, there's so much punching and slicing and like missiles and like, and then, oh look, the giant arm piston got it done. I don't know, I don't know why that's not used first, but. You can only do it once per episode, which brings me to my next choice, Megazord, which is from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> the combination of all the bots together in teamwork, Tyrannosaurus, Pterodactyl, Mastodon, Triceratops and Saber Tooth Tiger, which is not a dino, but that's okay. And I chose this over uh, Voltron because this is what I grew up with and this is what I love. But yes, I, I do, I do like Voltron too. <laughs> I can imagine little Kim I've, watching I, the show, like Saber Tooth you know. Tiger. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, uh, so from my childhood, Raideen who was uh, technically one of the Shogun Warriors, mm -hmm. but he had uh, a transformation that he could do. So the guy who piloted it had a uh, motorcycle that he rode really fast, and then he launches off the motorcycle and like does a somersault and does like this, and then he lands in Raideen's forehead. What? And that's how he enters the robot. How and else would you get in? The robot has like a shield with a, a sort of sword combo thing, Great robot. He could also transform into a bird and uh, fly. So, awesome, awesome robot. Really big part of my childhood. Excellent choice. Both two excellent choices so far. Uh, my number two choice is The Iron Giant. Not only because it's a highly underrated film. Because of emotions? It's a very emotional film. I won't say I'm, I don't cry when I watch it. Oh, yeah. Tim and directed by Brad Bird, and voiced by Vin Diesel. Yes. Which not a lot of people know. Well, probably by now, because of the internet. Uh, but I think he is a very cool robot with one of the more compelling stories as far as giant robots go. Right. And he's got the, uh, the sort of weapon mode. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't want to be a weapon. No, he doesn't. But he's got it, which is badass. Yeah. Oh, that's 
so sweet. Uh, speaking of sweet, Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think I could do this list without mentioning one of the Transformers. So why not pick their leader, and who, who I do care about when things happen to him. And Hot Rod is okay, but he's not, a, he's not, you know, he's not the one. He doesn't have the same heart and the same punch, and I don't feel like spark. I could it's follow spark. him. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sure. Technically speaking, it sure. is called Spark. spark. <laughs> he is the one from the All Spark who I care about the most. Mm -hmm. All right, well chosen. Um, I think my, my last one is going to be Gypsy Danger. Yeah. From Pacific Rim. Because really, I mean, I think you'd get a thousand comments. What about Gypsy Danger? Because Rocket Powered Fist, that's all I have to say, Rocket Powered <laughs> Fist. <laughs> List over, we're done. Yeah, let's see, you know. And now, did you like any of the other um, Oh, yes. Crimson, Crimson Typhoon. Typhoon. The, yeah, so three arms. Uh, really, really awesome robot that you only get to see for like 60 seconds. Less is more. Less, Less is, is more. more. Except in, uh, in terms of my last one, where more is more. Right. There has to be a largest robot. And I found it, and it's another Transformer, it's Unicron. Voiced by Orson Welles? Voiced by Orson Welles in his last role before he died. In his last role before he died. in interviews, I don't know what I'm even talking about. Exactly, right? didn't matter. <laughs> this. This robot is the size of a planet, and it eats smaller planets. Uh -huh. It's the <laughs> biggest robot there is, and people say size don't matter, but here it does, because it's a big fucking robot. That's no moon, it's, it's a robot. Not, yes. <laughs> Transformers lore is actually like super deep if you get into it. He was like one of the original creations of the god of their universe, and he's like the deity of chaos, imprisoned in this planetary, but it gets really complicated. Um, his, his twin is Cybertron, the planet that the Autobots and the Decepticons are from. But then what gives him more sentience than, than Cybertron? Power struggle. Wow. So confusing. I know. Well, okay, I'll look into that. And that giant R2-D2 that breathes fire that you talked about, which yes. I think should be actually number one because it's real. <laughs> and I want it. Okay, when we, and we have one final honorable mention. Mega Maid from Spaceballs, the movie. I'm sure we've forgotten quite a few giant robots. If we've forgotten the one that you love, please don't be too angry, but be sure to comment about it below and subscribe.